Hey guys, Aiden Booth here. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up a contact form like this one here uh, using a plugin. Uh, this is a contact form I've got on my website, ironblackbook.com. Um, today, I'm going to show you how um, we can actually set it up on the Rank and Pillage blog. Um, so, first of all, we need to install the plugin. So, I'm just going to come down to the plugins um, menu here and click Add New Plugin. And we're going to just search for it. It's called the Fast Secure Contact Form. And we will search plugins. Um, and here it is here, Fast Secure um, Contact Form. Now, I think I may already have that installed. If I didn't have that installed, I'll just click the Install Now button. Um, but as you can see, it is installed here. Um, I can update that automatically if I want to. So that, that's how you would go and install it anyway. You would go and do a search, you would find it, and you'd click the Install button. Um, the next thing you want to do um, is set up the page that you want to have the form on. So on this website, I set up a new post and I inserted the form into that. Um, I'm going to set up just an example um, questionnaire type type page here and we will um, insert the plugin into that. So I come to the pages and I click add new. You can do it on a post as well, um, but I'm just going to do it on a, on a page here. Example contact form. Um, I will publish this one immediately and I'll now go and actually set up the, set up the form so to set up the form I come down here um, to the plugins menu and as you can see there's a link here FS contact form options I come in there um, and I'm actually going to set up form 2 because I may have already used form 1 I can't remember so I'm setting up form 2 I'm going to give it a label, example, form. I'm going to put some text in here. You can put the email address that you want there. It doesn't have to be the default one. You could change that to anything you want. Um, if I'm scrolling down here a little bit, you can see that you can, um, you know, customize the capture if you want that to be displayed or not. Um, you can say which fields are required. We'll just leave them as default for now. Um, come right to the bottom. Sorry, hit up. Here and we'll just click update options. You can click any of these update options and it should update the page. And um, what we have to do now is actually very, very simple. We just copy this little snippet here. So I'm copying that. We go to our pages menu, which I'll open in a new page, and we'll choose the page we've just set up, example contact form. We go to the HTML, we paste in our little um, form code, and we click update. Now, if I go and view the page, that there is our form. Um, I could modify that in any, any way, really. Um, I'm back in the options menu. Um, for example, you might say, um, you know, you don't want to allow, you know, to have a, sub, a subject line. Um, so we can take that off. We can say subject field not available. Um, we can change the size of different aspects of the form um, by playing around this this part here. For example, we might want this piece here to be wider. If we want that piece to be wider, we just change this here and we could make it twice as wide. 60. Update options. 
and when I refresh this page you should see that that there is wider um, now anyone that completes this form here the you'll get an email sent to you which will be sent to this here whatever you have set up here so um, it's a really really cool plugin I use it um, on a lot of my different websites and um, I think it's just a, a professional way that you can you know have a contact form on your website without needing to put your email address um, you know open to the public and because it's got the capture code you can also eliminate a lot of spam so hope, hopefully you found this uh, useful I think it's a really cool plugin and um, I wanted to share that with you